Hello, this is Mr. Gagnon again. I'm going to um, talk a little bit about our last topic. Our last topic was the topic of work. So I mentioned that, yes, the work here ended up being 20 joules, um, but we mentioned no, no time here. Like, so this could have taken 10 years to do, and it will still be considered to be the same amount of work. It could have taken 10 seconds to do. It's the same amount of work. So in real life, we've got times applied to these things. So I like to start off with a quick story, um, and the story is going to relate to uh, something I did as a child, uh, but I'd like you to get down the term power, um, and this is the topic for today. Um, so when I was a kid, I was about 10 years old, I, um, I was really curious to see if I could dig to the other side of the earth, and, um, and so I started digging. I got the shovel out of the garage, and I started digging. And I dug a six-foot hole when I was 10 years old. It took me all day, it took me eight hours to dig the hole. Now, I dug it right next to a telephone pole. So when my dad got home, he was really upset. I got grounded for a week. Uh, but the good thing that came out of this was the fact that I realized that I could do a lot of work. Um, Obviously, it took a long time because I was uh, I was only a kid. So let's say I have the same situation now, and I needed to dig a hole, and it was the same size as the hole that I dug when I was a kid. Well, I would be smart, and I would rent a backhoe tractor, and I would dig that hole, and that would actually take me about 15 minutes. Okay. Now, the question is, who does more work? Me or the tractor? Well, turns out if the hole's the same size, we do the same work. Okay, it's the same. Both both holes are the same size. It does it. We accomplish the same thing. This one took a little longer. This one didn't take as long. So here comes the term of power. Power is how fast you can do work. So let's look at it. So power is, ha, has something to do with work and time. And it actually works out where power is work divided by the time. And when I think of something powerful, I think of like a, you know, I think of a race car, it can go very fast in a short amount of time. I think of a power lifter that could lift some weights in a short amount of time. There's multiple other things that are powerful that you can think of, and time is the factor. Now, I could lift a thousand pounds over my head, but it would take a long time because I'd have to use a floor jack to do it. Here's the deal. Um, I'll give you a situation. I don't have a work number for these two things, but let's just, let's just use a simple situation. Let's say, let's go back to our original situation here with the block. Okay, I ended up finding the work was 20 joules. So let's use that. Okay. Let's say this took us 10 seconds to push that block. The, the power now is 2 over 1, or 2, we call it watts. Okay, 2 watts of energy. I'm sorry, not energy. Work divided by time is power. So 2 watts of power is what the power output is if I push a block. I get 20 joules of work in 10 seconds. So let's see what happens when I decrease the time. Let's say I decrease the time to a half a second. 20 joules over a half second. 40, 40 watts. Okay, so now I went from 2 watts to 40 watts, and the only difference was I decreased my time. So the, the faster I do something, the more powerful it is. And the more powerful it is. Okay, so that's how to find power. Um, I'm going to bring that to one other 
uh, level here, there's a unit called a horse power. And you might guess it actually has something to do with horses. Um, for extra credit, if you want to get uh, five points on your next quiz or test, you can write me a little um, paragraph about what horsepower is and uh, where did it come from. But I'm going to give you the physics behind it. So uh, horsepower is just a measure of power. Um, so I'm going to tell you what the, the unit conversion is. One horsepower is equal to 746 watts. Okay, this is an English unit. Okay, this is a metric, uh, watts are a metric unit. So we're going from English, uh, English to metric, metric to English. So let's just say I found an answer, let's say 1,000 watts for an answer for work, and I needed to get it over to horsepower. Well, hey, the, from the beginning of the semester, we did a lot of this stuff. So let's see. Watts to horsepower. In one horsepower, there's 746 watts. So I multiply the top, divide by the bottom. Okay, get my handy calculator here. Okay, it will be 1,000 divided by 746 <laughs> So this ended up being 1.3 horsepower. Okay, so 1.3 horsepower. And horsepower should ring a bell because there are a lot of things that are, you know, that they uh, you can measure the horsepower in, and that would be like a car, a boat, a motorcycle, um, even your lawnmower has a horsepower rating. Um, so uh, there it is. There's how to find horsepower from. Watts. Thank you.